Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C, they're sitting at a table, is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's stepping off a curb. B. She's walking down a hallway. C. She's waiting in line for a bus. D. She's wearing a backpack. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. Some clothing has fallen off a counter. B. Clothes are on display on a rack. C. The man is putting an item into a cart. D. The man is folding jackets in a store. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. One of the people is putting on sunglasses. B. One of the people is climbing some stairs. C. One of the people is posing for a photograph. D. One of the people is opening a gate. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. A floor is covered with boxes. B. A sign is leaning against a wall. C. Some pillows are organized on shelves. D. Some lamps have been placed on the floor. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. She's lifting a bag of groceries. B. She's talking on a mobile phone. C. She's standing on a stepladder. D. She's reaching for a light switch. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. He's planting some bushes. B. He's weeding a flower bed. C. He's installing a door. D. He's holding a hammer. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. Will the bank be open over the holiday weekend? A. Yes, as far as I know. B. Yesterday evening. C. I didn't realize that. Number 8. Why did we hire so many people? A. A high-rise building. B. I don't have much more. C. Because we have several new major contracts.
Number 9. You have the presentation slides ready to go, right? A. It's a fantastic gift. B. No, I'm still working on them. C. I went there yesterday. Number 10. How long is the flight to London? A. Just those three. B. More often than not. C. Less than four hours. Number 11. Who won the Employee of the Month Award in January? A. That project was completed last month. B. You are a highly valued employee. C. Someone from Human Resources. Number 12. Did we get enough volunteers for the music festival? A. Did you volunteer last year? B. At the hotel on Central Boulevard. C. Yes, some of my friends even agreed to participate. Number 13. Will the product be sold locally or nationwide? A. By October 27th. B. Locally to begin with. C. No, I'm staying home. Number 14. Would you please put the new ink cartridge into the printer? A. Sure, that should be easy. B. It's in today's paper. C. I don't have a shopping cart. Number 15. I'll need to replace the belt on the tractor. A. Will they be there tomorrow too? B. Yes, that's what the technician recommended. C. Everyone agreed to that meeting time. Number 16. How did the project discussion go this morning? A. Fine, but we still need to finalize some details. B. So we met in the library. C. Sure, I could spend five minutes on the assignment. Number 17. Which of these contracts should be renewed this month? A. All client information is in this folder. B. On the fifth floor. C. My library book is overdue. Number 18. Did the workers mop the floors again today? A. Yes, they used special cloths. B. Sure, if you think they'll fit. C. The notice on the door. Number 19. Make sure you sign up for the seminar next week. A. A famous presenter. B. I attended last week's session. C. I'll need you to sign for the package. Number 20. Why don't we pick up some lunch from the cafeteria? A. I already ate. B. On the corner of First and Maple Streets. C. The new manager. Number 21. Please put in a request for Mona to get access to the database. A. Yes, I like that type of computer. B. The IT specialist is out of the office this week. C. The conference room upstairs. Number 22. Call me when your flight arrives so I can come get you. A. He's at gate 17. B. A direct flight from Tokyo. C. Coffee's picking me up. Number 23. Where will the workshop take place? 
A. It's still in the planning stages. B. All day Friday. C. No, I don't usually shop there. Number 24. Would you like to be seated indoors or on the patio? A. It's very hot today. B. I read that book. C. I'm looking for pumpkin seeds. Number 25. When would you like to see the doctor for your next checkup? A. She checks her email daily. B. I'll be out of town until April. C. It's next to the waiting room. Number 26. Does Ms. Shimizu usually come to the office on Mondays or Tuesdays? A. By public transportation. B. Meeting room 7. C. Ask her assistant. Number 27. Where can I move the file cabinet? A. Hector's office is empty. B. I think that file cabinet's over there. C. Some folders and papers. Number 28. When will Dr. Gao give her speech? A. The conference schedule hasn't been finalized. B. I like the view from your office. C. Attached in her email. Number 29. The catering service is calling to ask about the fundraising dinner. A. There should be some in the refrigerator. B. Yes, over $12,000. C. I wasn't involved in the planning. Number 30. Our team will be taking a lunch break soon. A. Okay, I'll see if there's an empty conference room. B. Remember to return it. C. No, we took the stairs. Number 31. Which door should I go through to leave the warehouse? A. He left early yesterday. B. The key card you were issued works for any exit. C. An unusually large order. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Fritz. Thanks for coming in early today. We have very important guests holding a meeting at 9 in the hotel's main conference room. One of the projectors won't switch on. Could you take a look at it? Not a problem. I'll also check the other equipment and computers in the room and run some diagnostic tests. Thank you. Oh, and let me give you the key. The room is locked right now. Number 32. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 33. What most likely is the man's job? Number 34. What will the woman give the man? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for calling Lyleton Tree Service. This is Lauren. How may I help you today? Hi. 
I'm calling because one of the large oak trees on my property has died. I'd like to have it cut down before it causes any damage. Okay, I can definitely help you with that. First, I'll need your address so I can schedule a time for one of our specialists to go out and evaluate the situation. Number 35. Who most likely is the woman? Number 36. Why is the man calling? Number 37. What does the woman ask the man for? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. I love this men's dress shirt. Do you have it in the next larger size? All we have left is the one you are holding, but our warehouse has any size you'd need. Would you like me to have it sent to your home? Actually, I prefer to try shirts on. Sometimes the fit's not exact. You can always mail it back and get a refund. Unfortunately, I need the shirt for a business trip tomorrow. Okay, let me check. You are in luck. Our Shipleysburg store has your size. It's not far from here. Number 38. What does the man ask the woman about? Number 39. What does the woman offer to do? Number 40. What will the man most likely do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. This art gallery's packed. Do you think it's always like this? I don't know, but there's my friend Sophia who owns the place. We can ask her. Well, look who it is. Thanks for visiting. What a beautiful space this is. I'm so glad I'm finally getting to see it. We were just wondering if it's always busy like this. Well, you know, it looks full because the space is so small. But yes, this is normal for us. Sophia, this is Aaron. He's a colleague of mine. Pleased to meet you, Sophia. Nice to meet you, too. Here, let me show you both some new prints we just hung up. Follow me. Number 41. Who is Sophia? Number 42. What are the men curious about? Number 43. What will the speakers most likely do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Amina, how are plans progressing for our mobile phone release? Good. Right now, I'm working with our marketing firm to develop the advertising campaign. There are some really great ideas for commercials and print ads. That's great. I'm really concerned about the growing amount of competition for this type of product. A lot of our competitors will also be putting out new phones around the same time, so it's important that ours stands out in the market. Number 44. What kind of product are the speakers discussing? Number 45. What does the woman say she is currently working on? Number 46. What is the man concerned about?
Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Louisa, how did your presentation at the Food Chemistry Conference go? Very well, thanks. I'm hoping the presentation increases my chances of receiving the Innovation Award this year. That would be fantastic. Of course, some of the numbers in my presentation came from you. The statistics you gave me really improved it. I'm glad those numbers were helpful. By the way, did you see the email saying that recordings of presentations should be uploaded to our server? Thanks for reminding me. I'll take care of that this afternoon. Number 47. What does the woman hope to do this year? Number 48. What does the woman mean when she says, Some of the numbers in my presentation came from you. Number 49. What does the man remind the woman about? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. In Eola, we have a problem. We got a notice from the city saying the water will be shut off tomorrow from 6 a.m. till noon due to construction on the street. Oh, no. Then we won't be able to open for breakfast. Hopefully, we'll be able to serve lunch and dinner, though. Yes, we'll need to let the servers know. I'll call everyone who's scheduled to work the morning shift and let them know that they don't need to come in. Number 50. What does the man say will happen tomorrow? Number 51. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 52. What does the man say he will do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. All right, Marion. The new healthcare software is all set up on your computer now. You've done the training already, so it should be straightforward. Great. I hear a lot of healthcare providers are switching to this same software. Yes, this platform is becoming popular because patients can access all their medical records from different providers through one central system, rather than having separate profiles for each office. Sorry to interrupt. No problem, Francesca. I've just finished up here. What do you need? These forms need to be signed before the courier arrives at 10 a.m. Number 53. What did the man just do? Number 54. According to the man, why has a product become popular? Number 55. Why does Francesca interrupt the conversation? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Gregor. Have you had time to review the plan for maintenance on the Springville train line? Remember, we're voting on it during tomorrow's city council meeting. I have, and I have some reservations. Oh, what are they? Well, shutting down that train line for six full weeks in the summer will not be popular with residents. I think I'm going to object to the plan. How about you? Well, summer is the region's busiest season. I think we should investigate weekend-only maintenance. Good idea. I'll write up a list of our concerns to discuss at the meeting. Number 56. Who most likely are the speakers? Number 57. Why does the woman say... Summer is the region's busiest season.
Number 58. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I am having trouble submitting my monthly car payment online. The system keeps telling me that my username and password are incorrect, but I'm sure I entered them correctly. Thank you for your call, Mr. Ibrahim. I apologize, but we're having a problem with our payment network this morning. My car payment is due today. Will I have to pay extra or be penalized in some way? No, we're guaranteeing that this will not happen to our valued customers. Number 59. What is the man making a payment for? Number 60. What problem does the woman describe? Number 61. What does the woman promise the man? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Hello, you've reached Graham and Associates. Hi, I'd like to meet with someone about managing my accounts and preparing my taxes. Would I be able to speak to an associate sometime next week? Of course. Marcel Breton is accepting new clients. Are you available the 15th? Hmm, no, I'm not. Would the 16th work? Yes, I believe so. We have a staff meeting until 11 a.m., but Marcel has some availability afterwards. That works. Can I have his email address in case I need to contact him beforehand? Number 62. Where does the man work? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Which day will the woman meet with Marcel Breton? Number 64. What does the woman ask for? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and picture. Hi, I'd like to order 50 custom sweatshirts with my company's logo on them. Great. We can put it anywhere you like, such as on the sleeve, on the back, or right in front. Could you put the logo in the bottom corner, near the waist? Yes, we can. For 50 sweatshirts, it takes around three weeks for embroidery and two weeks for printing. Actually, I was hoping to have them next week. Would it be possible to pay for expedited service? Yes, we do offer rush service. Could you come in on Thursday to approve a mock-up? Number 65. What type of business does the woman work for? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Where does the man want a logo to appear? Number 67. What is the man willing to pay extra for? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and song list. Are you excited about our upcoming performance at the Harvest Festival this weekend? Yes. After all the rehearsing we've done, I think our band is ready to put on a good show. Right. Although I'm slightly concerned about our new drummer since he doesn't have much stage experience. He might be nervous when he does his drum solo. You have a point. The solo is in the Brandon Toprak song. 
We could replace that one with the other song we've been practicing together, City Daydreams. Let's ask him about it. Number 68. Who most likely are the speakers? Number 69. What is the woman concerned about? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which song does the man suggest replacing? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Kelly from Flower Power Florist. You ordered 30 vases of zinnias for the tables at your restaurant. You mentioned they were for a special event next week at the restaurant. I'm sorry, but there's a shortage of zinnias right now. Unfortunately, the growers didn't produce enough this season. I could put together 30 vases of roses instead. Those are usually more expensive, but I can provide them to you for the same price as the zinnias. Please let me know if roses would be acceptable. I'll be at the shop until 5 o'clock today. Number 71. Who most likely is the listener? Number 72. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 73. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following advertisement. Today's radio program is sponsored by Perspective. Do you have trouble finding the perfect job candidate for your business? Let Perspective handle it. We'll check their qualifications, request references, and run background checks so you don't have to. And beginning this year, Perspective now offers daily updates on each job listing you post. Have candidate suggestions sent right to your inbox. To try a free 14-day trial of Perspective, fill out our online survey about your business at www.perspective.com. Number 74. What service does Prospective provide? Number 75. What recent improvement did Prospective make? Number 76. How can the listeners try Prospective for free? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Rawad. It's Kriti Hazarika from Somerville Realty. I'm following up about the Maple Road space you expressed interest in renting as a location for your antique store. It's a great spot, but I just learned from the owner that the old electrical wiring needs to be replaced. I know you're eager to get your store up and running. The owner will need to apply for a permit for the work, though, and the process normally takes a long time. Let me know what you want to do. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. What is the problem with a property?
Number 79. What does the speaker imply when she says, The process normally takes a long time. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. Welcome, everyone. I'm Brian Cho, your instructor. Over the next five weeks, I'll teach you everything you need to know about commercial truck driving. We'll go over how to keep electronic logbooks, since companies have recently started requiring drivers to record their shift hours electronically, something that wasn't done in the past. By the end of this course, you'll be ready to earn your commercial driver's license and start your new career. Fortunately, this is a great time to enter the profession, because the compensation is very attractive. Many companies are even offering signing bonuses of $10,000 or more to new drivers. Number 80. What type of work are the listeners training for? Number 81. What recent change does the speaker mention? Number 82. According to the speaker, why is it a good time to enter a profession? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following broadcast. Today, reporters at Channel 7 News witnessed a historic opening ceremony here on the shores of Chesapeake Bay. For the past several years, construction has been ongoing on a new bridge spanning the bay. Earlier this year, transportation officials shared the good news that the construction was progressing faster than expected. And as of today... Traffic is moving across the new bridge at a steady pace, two months sooner than planned. I interviewed some local delivery drivers, and as you can imagine, they are happy to see the construction barricades come down early. Number 83. What event is the speaker reporting on? Number 84. What news did officials share earlier in the year? Number 85. Who did the speaker interview? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Ife. This is Hiroki Tamura. As you may know, I'm managing the company's project to develop a mobile application for Restorf Bank. The project is already underway and has gone well so far. However, yesterday I was informed by upper leadership that the client requested we have the product ready for launch a month earlier than anticipated. Leadership wants us to make every effort to meet this request. We can't hope to accomplish it with my current small team of software developers, though, and I know you usually do excellent work. Please get back to me when you have a chance. Number 86. What industry does the speaker most likely work in? Number 87. What did the speaker learn yesterday? Number 88. What does the speaker imply when he says, You usually do excellent work. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Hi everyone, I have exciting news. Our company has officially decided to expand into France. What that means for us here in the Data Analytics Department is that we have a lot of work to do to understand French consumers. In order to sell our cook-at-home meal kits, 
We need to analyze the data we've collected about how people in France shop now and what they buy. I'll start uploading the files to our shared drive, and then we can begin. Number 89. What news does the speaker report? Number 90. What department do the listeners work in? Number 91. What does the speaker say he will do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following report. Thanks for tuning in to KELW, Springfield's news radio station. In sports, the hometown blues are under new ownership. Abelora Investment Group finalized the purchase of the baseball team this past week. A Springfield native himself, the investment group's founder, Patrick Abelora, is passionate about building community in the Springfield area. When contacted for a comment, Abelora said he aims to bring the franchise its first ever championship. While that's welcome news to Blues fans, who have remained loyal through many disappointing seasons, it's worth noting that we've been told that before. Number 92. What is being reported on? Number 93. What does the speaker say Mr. Abalora is passionate about? Number 94. Why does the speaker say, We've been told that before. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and pie chart. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yuri Hirata, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Kohli Manufacturing Plant. I always enjoy giving tours to our own sales staff. I hope you'll let our customers know what you learn here today about the high quality of the products manufactured by Kohli. Right now, we're looking at the area on the factory floor where our newest product is being assembled. You can see on your handouts that these represent only 15% of our sales, but we hope that they will become our largest seller, even larger than our weightlifting benches. Number 95. Who are the listeners? Number 96. What does the speaker hope will happen? Number 97. Look at the graphic. What type of exercise equipment does the speaker say is new for the company? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following recorded message and staff directory. Thanks for calling the Education Office at the Metropolitan Museum of Science. We're pleased to announce several new learning modules specifically for teenagers interested in computer coding. You can find these new modules on our website under the Activities tab. Please note that the registration deadline for this summer's science camps has been extended to March 15th. Sign up now to reserve a space. You can find more information online. And finally, if you're a teacher arranging a class trip to the museum, Please press 7 after the tone and you'll be connected to our school liaison. Number 98. What is the speaker pleased to announce? Number 99. What does the speaker say about science camps?
Number 100. Look at the graphic. Who can the listeners speak to by pressing 7? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book. End of recording.